We broke up with gas. Hello, dear friends. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel. We broke up with our internal combustion engine. Completely broke up with gas. Sorry, gas, but we done with you. <laughs> you are too expensive because we both bought a Tesla. Dear friends, my name is Manushak. My name is Tanya. We live next door. Each other. And we finish each other's sentences. <laughs> and we are friends already 28 years. Can you imagine 28 years? That's yeah. almost three decades. And we met each other when I did not speak English and Tanya did not speak Russian. I'm Armenian by nationality, but I do speak Russian fluently. And I grew up speaking Ukrainian and English, so I had background with Cyrillic language, Cyrillic letters rather, but not Russian. And plus I understood Ukrainian. So we communicated well that Tanya learned to speak Russian. I did not taught her Armenian because I was thinking that if she learns Russian, she will survive any of those previous Soviet countries because that was the mandatory language during the Soviet Union and people our age speak Russian. That's why I decided, I'm like, okay, Tanya, you will learn Russian because it's easy for you because you already speak Ukrainian because it's a Slavic it's not language. easy for me, though. It wasn't easy <laughs> for me. Oh, it still, was, it still is not easy, but... So, Tanya was very, very young, beautiful, and again, still beautiful. You were very, very young, beautiful, to... still beautiful. I was young, yes. I was... We were um, both young. 26. No, I was already 27. Nah, between 26 and 27. And Tanya just turned 21. Right before my 21st birthday. I'll never forget that. <laughs> Ever. That's true. It's just a small introduction to our friendship and how we ended up living next door to each other and how we both ended up with Teslas. We'll talk about our life. What do we do for our living? What kind of lifestyle we live? We live interesting lifestyle, dear friends. I'm not going to explain what we do, but uh, I will let you to be intrigued what kind of lifestyle we live. So it will be interesting. I'm giving you promise. A lot of people will learn a lot of different things. This will see little window of our lifestyle. And you're gonna see that we're stuck between old fashioned and modern and somewhere in between some days and we're not afraid to do changes in our life like we did a complete change from gas power cars to completely electric car dear friends my husband was so confused when i said i'm going to buy a tesla he's like what happened with you mano shark are you <laughs> what's going on with you I said, Joe, I'm going to buy a Tesla. My older son says, Mama, have you lost your mind? You buying a Tesla? So, dear friends, I always loved Toyota or Lexus. I always loved Lexus. After I got a Lexus, I was thinking that I never will change to any other car because I love Lexus. And I was talking with my husband about hybrid plug-in Lexus. I was talking about that. Tanya and I went to the Lexus. And the people were looking at us, Lexus uh, salespeople. We were like uh, just uh, not very dressy, not very expensive clothes. We was just uh, casually decided, let's go to Lexus, you know. And... I understand how people judge a lot of times in those uh, places that 
oh my gosh look how she's dressed and she came to buy a lexus they came to buy a lexus they did not want to even talk to us well they were like very the guy was very um, you know whatever woman what do you guys want from us we know you're not going to buy that attitude killed me honestly god i came home and i was very disgusted of their attitude that was in the uh Bro Broomfield? Brookfield. Brookfield, Wisconsin. yeah. Brookfield, Wisconsin, Lexus. So Lexus owners know that why we did not buy a Lexus. I talked with my son in Colorado who bought for himself a, a Tesla. He has a Lexus and he bought a Tesla. And now uh, he said, Mom, for you and Tanya will be great te uh, Tesla because you guys don't go too much places, work and errands, and sometimes you're driving to Illinois and coming back. Tanya, of course, you tell how much you're driving, Tanya. I drive to work. Well, but beyond that, I'm an Uber. I'm an Uber mom or mom Uber or however you say that because I'm driving my youngest son to school, back to school, to sports practice, back home, to games. So... I'm driving a lot, a lot, plus errands and all the other regular stuff. I put a lot of miles on my car. I believe you because you're doing a lot of driving. I don't. I don't do a lot of driving. Most of my driving is going to work, coming back and doing errands. That's it. Continuing about my son. He is like, Ma, I said, what do you like? Nashan, which car you like the most? <laughs> you like your Lexus? Or he kept his Lexus. I said, do you like your Lexus or your Tesla? So Nashan says, Ma, it is like I'm asking to you, what child do you love more? My twin brother or me? <laughs> he was hoping you'd say him. <laughs> no, he I'm meant kidding. <laughs> he meant the cars because I always said to my children since little, I love you guys equally. You guys are getting an equal love, like a heart is divided in four chambers. Each of you is one of my chamber. I have four boys, by the way. So I'm like, okay. He said, Mom, I think you and Tanya will enjoy the Tesla. And uh, we start investigating. Tanya investigates more. Tanya, tell about that. When I'm interested in something, I, I hyper fixate or hyper focus on something so that I can get as much information as I can before I make my decision. And I share the information with Manushak. It seemed like it was a great option. It's a safe car. We're going to save on money for, for versus gas. We're going to be having electricity. And another component, we have solar. We both have solar panels. We live next door. I have my own house. She has her own house. She has her own family. I have my own family. People often think that we are living in the same house. No, we have our own separate houses and we both have solar panels. So we wanted to benefit from that. Originally, when we looked into solar, we were um, calculating that one day we would get electric, hoping. We were mostly were thinking that uh, plug-in electric because my husband bought a Toyota RAV4 plug-in. So that was our thinking process. We did some research and then we, we went and we test drove the Tesla. First of all, when we went to, that's in Milwaukee, the milwaukee we don't have a tesla dealership so but they have uh, some office where they have a tesla cars and they let you they explain everything they let you test drive every all that stuff so when we went there we were welcomed like their own family member so nicely and the guy explained so beautifully smoothly so i'm like Okay, you men sold everything to us. Came to the point, we came and we have to plan around. 
So we wanted to plan around that. How about insurance? If insurance will be more expensive. Insurance, the car loan, we had to look at car interest, car loan interest rates because they're up a lot higher than the last time both of us took out a loan. Uh, we needed to look in, like, what else do you need with a Tesla? Because we both need a hitch. We live on a farm. We need to be able to haul stuff. So we had to take all these different components into consideration. Safety. Safety is key. Yes, safety is the first. So after everything we checked out, we were ready to buy a Tesla. Hold on. We need to go back to the test drive. Yes. <laughs> Dear friends, if you never, ever drove Tesla, do not go right away standard mode of driving. Take a chill driving because when Tanya start accelerating on the standard mode, I felt like I'm flying to space. <laughs> it was worse when plane takes off and going up. You know, that feeling is like pushing yeah, you backwards. Gravity. Yes. And that's how I felt. I said, Tanya, calm down. My brain is coming out of my skull from the back. <laughs> that kind of feeling I had. So we would encourage you to test drive a Tesla before you consider buying it because it drives completely different than a gas powered car. Unless you have a super fast sports car. Maybe that might compare, but like a regular gas engine, it, it drives, for me, it drives completely differently. I love it more. Personally, I'm enjoying it a lot more than my gas car because it accelerates like immediately. Tanya, another component we have to say, it's not a component, it's an other issue. My husband always lost his mind when in the winter, I, we would not walk each other's house. We would drive each other's house. He would say, do you understand how bad is that for the engine? This time, now he has nothing to say. But I said that to him. I said, Joe, now we have electric cars. You can't complain that I'm driving to your house or that your wife's driving to my house. He says, you shouldn't be driving. You should be walking. <laughs> I was like, oh, gee, Liz. <laughs> yeah, in the winter, when the wind is uh, minus 40, no. <laughs> Even I na our neighbor said, Joseph, I'm sorry, but I'm not walking to your house in the cold wind <laughs> during the winter. I'm driving. And Joe's like, okay, whatever. You, you have the same mindset like Manushak and Tanya. <laughs> So we would be so grateful if you hit subscribe on our channel and please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and stick with us. We have so many adventures coming your way and we're grateful for your time and we're sending you nice and beautiful and enjoyable video. God bless every one of us, dear friends, and we're wishing you the best of best health and peace on this earth that's what uh, the more important thing at this point so god bless all of us on this earth bye 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 <laughs>